Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101, I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. We got another subscriber today, it just keeps getting better, thank you so much everybody who's a member of Giants Baseball 101, and don't wait to comment and share your thoughts. The Giants beat the Reds 4-1 today in game one of this very big series, and, and I say very big because the Giants and the Reds both sit right outside the playoff picture and they're both battling to get into that last spot. With this win, the Giants have pushed the Reds down a step and taken their spot just, they're just under the playoff, the National League playoff bracket and they currently sit half a game behind the final National League wildcard spot. So they're, they're just a step away from Getting back in, Kyle Harrison pitched six and a third scoreless innings for the Giants today, and, and to say that that is promising is is just that that's it, it is in itself an understatement. I, I mean, Harrison, there was just a lot of question about him. Would he be able to be immediately productive in the big leagues? How long would it take him? And we've we've still on the scene a very small sample size from him, but today he really went to town against the Reds, and it's, it's, it's a pretty good guess that he's going to stay in the rotation for the remainder of this year, and, and also be in the rotation as a guy that can go six plus innings in the postseason if the Giants make it that far. So Harrison, I'm, I'm just really happy about his progress, and it's, it's just that the Giants are definitely due to add another quality starting pitcher to their rotation and I really think Harrison does have the potential to be the answer for the Giants in that regard. Also today Wilmer Flores, Patrick Bailey, and Wade Meckler all doubled in runs for the Giants and um, and Bailey, I mean I, I just made a point about him yesterday. He has has been coming along for the Giants in some key situations and I think he's definitely well on his way as a prospect, and then Meckler as well. I just have to make an observation, you know, when, when he does something just contributing to a win. He, he obviously, he reached the major leagues really early, and it's, it's still a lot's up in the air with him about whether he is, is ready to be, to be punched in on, on the big league roster as, a, as an everyday player. And, and stick around. His minor league statistics di did show a lot of promise for him and now that he's gotten his chance with the Giants, I mean he's, he's got some things to work on for sure, but I, I think it might be the start of something big for the Giants, certainly in the future, but maybe now as well, just as, as we head to the most intense stage of the playoff run. So it was a four to one win for the Giants today, and they, in in this this critical series against the Reds, they managed to win the first game, and they're they're in serious playoff contention in spite of all of their struggles over the past couple of weeks. And even though they they aren't in the position that we would have hoped a few weeks ago that they would find themselves in now, that they're not in as good of a position as that. They're certainly in position to make a run at a title this year, and that that's really what they need to focus on. They had their second win in a row here, so hopefully it's the the start of something. It's it's just they haven't they hadn't won back to back games, I don't think, in a while, but now they appear to possibly be getting back on the right track, and they, they did that today with, with Harrison's really good start that it was able to hold the Reds down. And, I mean, ideally the Giants just play their best baseball and sweep the Reds in this series. If, if they could do that, it, it would be huge for them. Like, I mean, you, you couldn't say, if, if the Giants could just take every game of this series, it, it would be absolutely huge and you just couldn't overstate that case but I, I think even if they can just 
win a majority of the games here. They're, they're still putting themselves in really good position. And the key now is they, they just can't fall back any further. They're, they're right. They could get back into a postseason spot tomorrow if all goes right. They, they just they, they just need to make up that ground there on, on that half game and, and work their way in. That could happen tomorrow. But, I mean, even if it doesn't, and it's, it's a little more work for the Giants, it's, it's, it's certainly doable for them to get back into the playoffs. And now with the rotation, they are, I mean, I, I would hesitate to say anything's a guarantee, but there is a high likelihood that they'll go into this final month with three high-quality starters in Logan Webb, Alex Cobb, and Kyle Harrison. And that, that's, that's just the, the real encouraging thing about Harrison's performance today, his ability to join the rotation, just be cemented in there as a, as a key piece. So the final month of the season, it, it's, it's always the hottest time for the playoff race, and I, I think this year it's it, it's it's definite that that the whole picture is flooded with contenders. I I mean it's it's kind of where twenty twenty three has been a year where if if this makes any sense to any of you that the competitive balance has been spread out a little bit, and there are a lot of teams that are in this and feel that they can contend. There's there's going to be tight competition for a few playoff spots. And, and, and it could, this is just a guess, it it, it could be all wrong, but it, it is likely, I think, particularly this year, that there will be at least one tiebreaker game for a playoff spot or maybe for a division spot. I, I just think the way the whole system is this year, that makes it kind of likely and I mean you definitely would have expected something like this with the addition of the new playoff spot but I mean I think in particular this year and you, you just look at the trade deadline where it was a whole lot easier to find teams willing to trade to buy a player than teams willing to sell their their top players and again this, this doesn't excuse the Giants for their deadline stance, but it, it might explain a little bit of, of why it turned out that way for the Giants. I mean, there, there are a lot of teams that are just just looking for this type of talent, and, and now I, I think we're just going to see throughout the month of September what we've seen for almost the entirety of this year. I, I think we're just going to see a bunch of teams jump in there to contend for these these few playoff spots and it's going to end in a lot of a lot of teams being disappointed that they they were almost in and they they lost it by a thin margin and I I don't know how close it's going to be just going into the final few games of the season but just overall I I do think this month of September is going to be a pretty a pretty tight one as far as these playoff spots so that, that that just goes to say that the Giants, it's it's just, they're going to have to be on their best game, and they, they've had their ups and downs this year, but September, it's it's just going to have to be a high point for the Giants, and that's, that is very likely going to be what decides it for them this year, whether they go or not. So, they're almost in a playoff spot. They They just need to need to get things together now at this point and win this series against the Reds, win their first series in a while, and, and hopefully this is the signal of a turn of things for the better. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.